Hi, this is a tutorial about the basic uh, way to select portions of a surface in MeshLab. So I can load a new model, and there is only there is one basic tool that gives you the possibility to select uh, surfaces in MeshLab, which is this one. And this tool essentially selects uh, faces in a rectangular region. You just indicate a rectangular area and uh, you get the selection of all the triangles in this rectangular area so it's very simple to, to be used using this button you can uh, hide and uh, make visible the selected region the basic selection tool uh, selects all the triangles in the rectangular area and uh, it selects not only the visible triangles but also the, in, uh, the triangles which are not visible so for example if I select this region at the same time I'm selecting also the part of the surface which was on the other side of the model so we have to be quite careful in using this uh, selection tool but there are ways to prevent this so for example if I press the ALT key uh, you see that I, uh, an eye appears ne near to the mouse pointer and this indicates that uh, if I make uh, the rectangular selection I will select only the visible triangles so if I select this part I can see that the rest of the model hasn't been selected so only the visible part of the model has, is being selected another the useful key is the control key if I use the control key I can make uh, an additional selection to the ones already made so you see that uh, a plus uh, symbol appears ne near to the mouse pointer and uh, if I make the selection you see that this selection is added to the previous one so the previous one is not uh, uh, deleted and uh, we you can add uh, other pieces of selection in the same fashion if I push the uh, shift button a minus appear to the next the, to the mouse pointer and this gives him the possibility to sub subtract uh, part of already selected uh, surfaces using again the, the rectangular region so I can remove part of the selected faces you can also combine the this, this particular uh, keys because using the control and the alt just like uh, before I already selected also the part of the geometry which was not visible so for example if I want to add a part of the selection but only of the visible uh, triangles I can press Ctrl and Alt and you see that uh, plus and the high are near to the mouse pointer and I will add a selection only of the visible triangles one, one other important thing which is more general uh, sometimes you need to switch from the selection for example in this case to the navigation of the model there is a very easy way to do that that is to press the ask button so you see here that now I'm working with the, uh, the rectangular selection tool so if I if I use the, the, the mouse I just select new parts but suppose that I want to move uh, a bit the model in order to add the new areas of selection if I press the ask button you see here that the, the new icon is the, the trackball and the trackball has appeared on the screen so now I can move the, the, the model in a more suitable position for example and then if I press ask again I switch back to the previous tool so I can keep on selecting new parts of the geometry and then I can switch back and move again the model and so on so this is for the basic uh, uh, selection tool in MeshLab uh, you see that uh, using these uh, additional keys you are able to be um, quite precise and be careful in selecting all the visible areas and so on the same rules uh, um, can be applied with the another selection tool which is this one this one selects only the uh, the points and not the points and the triangles so it works exactly in the same way it uh, has the same similar button where you can hide and make visible the selected points and also the combinations with control alt and shift work in the very same way so these are the, the two basic ways to 
uh, select the surface and they are quite easy to use clearly you need a bit of expertise especially in uh, um, alternating the selection and the movement of the of the model for example you can also play with the, uh, the um, field of view in order to put uh, your model in an orthographic view and uh, you have to play with the navigation in order to put the model in the right position to make the the, um, the selection in a proper way but using this kind of uh, uh, combinations you are able to, to be quite precise in the end so thanks a lot